This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com in review. I'm in the second day of the final destination a thon and, and I'm not being hyperbolic here. Final Destination 2 is perhaps one of the best sequels ever made. I shit you not. It's incredible. Now, keep in mind something. I'm not saying Final Destination 2 is the best movie, or even close to being the best movie ever made. It is certainly not. It's competent, it's well done, it's well shot, but rank, but it doesn't rank that high, not in the least. But, once again, Final Destination 2 is one of the best sequels ever made. And I stand by that. Why, you may ask? Because it builds upon the first movie. The first movie was tentative. It was... It wasn't very bold. It wasn't a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. But it was very tentative. That's the best way I can describe the first movie. The second one is balls out. It just goes for it. It has a joie de vivre about it that's incredible to watch. I enjoy this movie immensely. It has a grand gugnol feel to it. It just goes for it. I've oftentimes compared horror movies to cartoons in terms of their violence. It's ridiculous. Well, it tends to be ridiculous and over the top. It's one of the reasons I enjoy them. And this movie is a perfect embodiment of that aesthetic. It is hilarious. It's, it's so much like a Bugs Bunny cartoon, it brings me joy just watching this movie, which is really weird to say, considering the subject matter. It's just so remarkably over the top and gratuitous in its violence that it's hilarious. I literally laugh out loud numerous times in this movie. And it's not the uncomfortable type of laugh, which I sometimes do. If I'm seeing something that is a little off-putting and makes me uncomfortable, I will oftentimes express that with laughter. The deaths these people go through and the reactions of the people witnessing said deaths is hilarious to watch because it's so insane and cartoony. I mean, there's a scene in this movie where someone is literally, not figuratively, literally crushed by a pane of glass and blood goes everywhere, and people are shocked. Who wouldn't be? But they literally go about their day and just doing whatever it is they're doing. It's hilarious. I mean, and let's and let me clarify that just a little bit more. Imagine you were walking around and a person was crushed to such a degree by falling something that they literally burst like a bag of flesh. That would be the most traumatic thing you would ever see in your life, more than likely. You literally would not be sleeping well for years after that. That would literally upset your entire world. These people, now keep in mind, they do believe there is a death curse after them, and they're concerned about that, granted. But still, the way these people die is so absurd and so over the top. It's a joy to watch. And I mentioned earlier, Joie de Vivre, and I'm not kidding. Again, this movie is a blast. It's fun. It's one of the best sequels I've ever seen. It builds upon the first one. Lore-wise, not so much. In terms of the filmmaker's approach to his project, it just leaps and bounds above the first. It's so, so awesome. Watch the first one, though. You have to watch the first Final Destination and then watch the second to get the appeal. If you just watch the second one, you may not get it. But if you watch the first one, then follow it up with the second, oh my god, literally night and day, it's brilliant. Wow. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review.